family members for two months. Having the isolation does come at a psychological and social cost. And I think one of the frustrating things throughout this whole process has been an inability of people to ever discuss the negative effects of mitigation. Emmett Reed is the executive director of the Florida Health Care Association, representing hundreds of nursing homes across the state. He says preventing COVID-19 outbreaks remains the first priority. We want family members to be able to hug their grandmother, their grandfather, their aunt, their uncle, their brother, their sister. We know the residents want things to return back to normal, too. We, they want to be able to play bingo. They want to have meals with their friends. But we have to do it safely. With very few exceptions, visitors have not been allowed inside Florida nursing homes and long-term care facilities since March 14th. There are nearly 700 nursing homes and 3,100 assisted living facilities in Florida with more than 150,000 residents. Turning now to the economy, and you can now eat and drink at restaurants and bars in Alabama. But we're finding many people aren't quite ready to take that step. News 5's Gabby Easterwood is in downtown Mobile to explain why some people are hesitant. Even though the governor has given the green light on dining in, not everyone agrees, which makes things anything but business as usual. So it's not back to normal by any means. Tables six feet apart, mask and gloves being worn, are not sights seen before this pandemic at restaurants across Mobile. And even with social distancing and other precautions in place, some just don't feel it's safe just yet to dine in. People that are, are hesitant to do anything, and so I think that it's it's definitely safer inside of a restaurant than it's ever been. Even with that thought in mind, Matthew Golden, owner of Loda Beer Garden, says he knows numbers won't be as high as pre-pandemic. And just down the block at Spot of Tea, they're also expecting about 60% of the business that they are used to. But the spacing that we're doing, it'll probably match up with the amount of customers that we're going to have because there's still a lot of people that are scared to come out and eat. And we used to have full dining rooms, especially on Saturday and Sunday. But for a Monday and a Tuesday, these downtown restaurants are pleased. And uh, it's uncharted territory for all of us, and uh, we're, we're in it together. And it isn't just customers who aren't ready to dine in. There's restaurants here in downtown as well as throughout the area that remain takeout only or are closed altogether. Reporting in Mobile, I'm Gabby Easterwood at WKRG News 5.